I was actually going to talk about all the socks you own for someone who lives on a boat and then we pull that out. How did that get in there? You don't need to know what you want to do forever. Do what brings you joy and follow your heart. You defied all the rules of possibility. No one we know has led this life and been able to do what you've done. Oh, I'm going to cry. Now, I bet a lot of people are wondering, would you do this again? Would you want to do this again? Would you, you know, change your mind about wanting to do it? Would you have said, I don't want to do this anymore at any point? How do you feel about that? Hello from Friendship. So in this episode, guys, we're gonna do things a little bit different because something pretty big is happening in our family. So over the last couple of years, we've been sharing how we've traveled. Sometimes it's been slow travel. Sometimes it was RVing Europe to visit every single country. And now we're pretty much, I guess, a sailing lifestyle, whatever channel. The one thing that's always been consistent through this whole process has been the four of us, the four of us together. And that is the reason we started this full-time travel journey way back in 2014 was that our why was Avalon and Largo. And this week, our soon to be 18 year old is branching into another part towards her adult life. She is having high school graduation. She finished her last exam yesterday. And as homeschoolers, we're gonna do kind of our own version of boat graduation. You guys get to come along for the ride because we've taken you with us through all these journeys. Why not this one? Now it's either going to be amazing and wonderful or complete train wreck. Let's hope for amazing and wonderful. Dream up a world of pirates. I'm the highest tree. Do we have a high school graduate? No, we don't. Not yet, right? Not yet. She flunked meditation, right? She still Is has that... like one more test. One more test. Picking up the boat. I do have one more test. <laughs> Picking up the boat. Look out. I wish the wind would stop for like one minute. Look out that way, Avalon. Is becoming an expert photographer. What about the tassels in front of Avalon's face in every single picture? You know, we can either do this or you can have the ceremonial, you sit by a chair and just like, you, you hold your chin. Let's put the yeah. tassel on the other side. Oh my God, you remember those photos? Yep. I want a shot like, like, like I want a shot like this. Uh, really? Yes. The, 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 I'm going to take over the world shot. But think of it this way, Avalon, you don't need a fan to make your hair blow. Get that, that, that wind blown hair. <laughs> That's right. I hope you do this one day, Largo. <laughs> Graduate. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're giving Avalon her honorary sailing rope around her neck. Yes, she is valedictorian, salutatorian, highest GPA, lowest, lowest GPA, <laughs> um, and all kinds of other things, but she's also a sailor. So. And nationalist. There we go. And there's your rope, Avalon. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> All right. Are you, you ready to march? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna cry! <laughs> As co-presidents of World Towning World School, this certifies that Avalon Suero has successfully endured studying from an RV, a backpack, side of the road, and a floating death trap to make her way to college where life will be substantially easier, but less exciting. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Avalon. Oh my god, how did you get that with the right date on it? We're good. How did, how did you get with the right date on it? Hold on. You are now officially graduated and you may move your tassel. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Alright, class of one. Um, we, how long, hold on, how long is this? It's very short. You survived what we would consider the hardest... Can you clean my glasses for me? <laughs> you survived what I, what dad and I, I'm sorry, President William Swero and I would consider the hardest year of I, your- The Dean Swero, thank you. Dean Swero, that you've survived the hardest year of your life so far, in my opinion, of your life with us. It was not an easy year. You survived it with grace and conviction and you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. You have a love for learning, a curiosity. Not anymore. <laughs> extensive creativity, you're resourceful, you're kind, um, all great things that I think will serve you well. Oh, I'm gonna cry. 
<laughs> going forward in life. I don't think the president should cry. <laughs> um, you did this. Not me, not dad. Do you need me to read your speech? <laughs> not this lifestyle. And you did it all on your own. Um, huh? You earned this. Now go to college and have regular hot showers, <laughs> plentiful electricity, <laughs> unlimited Wi-Fi, like most normal people. Um, uh, stay out of the box no matter how much they want to put you in it. Um, trust that you know what is best for you. Again, not us, not your friends, not the institution, not your mentors. You don't need to know what you want to do forever. Do what brings you joy and follow your heart. <laughs> my own speech, how pathetic. <laughs> the money will follow. <clears throat> Take risks, all kinds of risks all the time. You don't have to be perfect or be any kind of success in anyone else's eyes. This is gonna be weird that the Dean's kissing a student, but I love you and we're so happy mm -hmm. for you and you should be very proud of yourself. Yeah. All right, well, your turn. Uh, so, gosh, and I actually put makeup on for this. So we did not have enough time in the program for a long speech like Jessica just had. <laughs> so I'm being cut short. <laughs> we did not know when we started this whole travel thing that it would even continue on to this life. The fact that you're here and we have a cap and gown <laughs> is beyond my wildest imagination <laughs> when we left eight years ago. And you defied all the rules of possibility. No one we know has led this life and been able to do what you've done. You're going to graduate and go to a top 25 university and it, and it, it is by your sheer will that it happened. It's not because we made it happen, you made it happen. Mm. And there's nothing in this world that you can't accomplish, period. I, I've learned that. I've actually said, mm. wow, you're pushing yourself too hard and, and it's going to hurt you in the end. And it hasn't. You've only thrived. <laughs> and, and I know that whatever happens for the rest of your life, you're gonna succeed a thousand percent because you don't know the word quit. <laughs> Neither is Jessica and I. <laughs> but, but maybe we should know the word quit, but we don't. And that's the only reason why we're all here right now is because we've all sort of made this work for us because we know that this is the right thing for you guys. So I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for letting me work hard and like do my schoolwork and sometimes helping me out on the side um, so I can get to where I am today. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Yay! Also, thank you to all my friends who are helpful with de-stress. You guys are great. Yay! You graduated! <laughs> Woo! So is that it? Um, yeah, let's eat. Let's eat. Do I get to throw it now? Uh, Avalon, if you throw you it in whatever the air, you want. I'm going to throw it carefully. Let's go in the ocean. You have to I'm going to throw it carefully. Woo! Got it. <laughs> awesome, Avalon. Today is a hard day. Avalon is leaving us in a couple of weeks and she is what we call, I guess, officially cleaning out her room and deciding what's going to donate, what's she's taking to university, what's staying here, and what is trash. I think we might find a couple of rotten apple cores in her room. Just prep yourself. So I'm going to go in there and chat with her and help her and I'm going to ask her some of the questions that you guys have asked us about her life the traveling life, being a traveling kid, and hopefully it'll give you a little more insight to what kind of an impact this life has had on her. Linda. Is it safe to come in here? The layer of Avalon Suera. No, Are you not. crying because you're sad to leave us? I'm so sad. Yeah. You can tell. Where's the tissues? Yeah. They're everywhere. I'm just. <laughs> I know. Oh, you're crying. <laughs> it's a comic books. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the plan? You leave so the show. So the plan is to clean out these two cupboards, um, see what's inside, see what we're taking to college, see what we're not taking to college, and get rid of everything that needs to be getting rid of. Are you taking that? this. What are you doing with that? An utterly useless, ginormous book that I think was, like, its best use would be to sit on it, to be, like, slightly taller. Well, and why is like that? that? Is it because you can just Google all this information? Or? Yeah. So, this is going to be... What is that? Cell. Cell? Where's the cell pile? Holy mackerel. I love Dad's going to oh be in here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Who's jumping on things? Yes. Who's jumping on things? You know, Avalon, I don't think I've ever looked in your cubbies before. No wonder you mm -hmm. wanted this room. These are huge. I know, right? Okay, scary things in your room. Hopefully we don't find any. 
How about scary things in travel? What's the scariest thing that happened to you during travel? I don't think there was ever anything that was like super scary. Nothing ever made me fear for my life ever. But I feel like the closest I've gotten to being really, really scared was um, when we were robbed in Belgium. It was just very violating to think that someone had been in our house. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Oh my gosh. It's okay, Mom. Oh my gosh. All of our stuff's still here, it's okay. No, Daddy's backpack isn't here. It isn't? No. No. What else they take? What else they take, Jess? I don't know everything at this point. The drone. They took the drone? No. Yes! Well, we found something from the archives. Summer list. Open it up. Uh huh. No, we're not. What's no, we are not opening that up. people's names in there, like kiss so-and-so? No, there are no people's names in here, but it is unfinished. So I should probably like add... What, what's on the list that's not finished? Give us one thing. Okay. Um, we have make sushi with fish that I've caught. Oh my god. Oh, that's <laughs> never going to happen on this boat. <laughs> yeah. All right. We think we have fish after 8,899 times of bringing this thing in. Well, this one's such a promise. What do you think, Emma? It's almost been like, oh my god, is that seaweed? No, it's not getting it. It is, it's a monster seaweed. Hey, fish! You suck! Get tired! I'm insulting you! Emma wants to make sure that it's not No, I just want to break his morale. Well, another false alarm. I think he got away through taking your time. At least he's a little bit this time. In the movies, when I see people doing this, the, the person is hung over the fishing line, reeling it in as fast as they possibly can. Hold on, no, it's in there. Oh, we can't just see So that fought that hard? Imagine if it was something living. Put that for next summer. Will Dad and I practice while you're going to college? Yeah. All right, let's ask another question. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you most looking forward to with moving to land life or going to university or getting off the boat, whatever? Most looking forward to? Probably a bit more structure, just like showers every day <laughs> that, that's gonna be nice do you think yeah. there's a place in the, mm -hmm. in the world where people have showers every day i don't think it really exists i i really truly don't believe in its existence i think college students are like nasty grimy so no what? someone open the whole thing oh all right that was that was, on. That was amazing <laughs> and will oh no the storm's not gonna hit us are you kidding me the lightning didn't hit us that's for the lightning. Can you imagine this if we were so cool? Could you imagine if we were sailing this? I would be shitting my pants. Why are we even peeing and sailing at the same time? Go ahead. Well, this is Will taking this opportunity to clean the boat. And Apple wants to clean you too. Anyone need a shower? Do I need a shower? I think we just got our shower. You might be moving to clean. I won't be. I've hit that point already. Nasty Grammy. I've experienced it. I don't like it. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction. You've Thank been you. have done that. All right, what yeah. else do we have in there? Oh, our we have dehumidifiers. That's yeah. favorite thing. That is actually, I think that one's monkey stuff in it? done. Yeah, we got yeah, one that out. one's definitely Blech. done. Yeah. Is that going in the trash pile? That is, yeah, but I don't want to drop it You can take that to university with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving right along, I don't think there's ever been a boat kid in the history of boat kids. Oh, I was actually going to talk about all the socks you own for someone who lives on a boat, and then we pull that out. How did that get in there? I like the bottle. Uh-huh, that's Pretty. what every 17-year-old throws. <laughs> I, I swear I do. I haven't even snuck out, Mom. No. Mm. Look at all those socks. Ellen's got Dorito fingers. Yeah. <clears throat> How can there's so many socks? I like socks. How many pair do you think you have? Ooh, like a bet. I'm going to say I have probably like... 22 pairs. Do you know how many pair I have? 12. Three. <laughs> you got mittens. You're gonna need those where you go. I have three pairs of mittens. I live on a boat. Why do I have three pairs of mittens? Because you knew you were gonna go to university someplace cold. Okay, I think we need another question. Let's do the best part of this travel life. Best part. There's a lot? Um, that's hard. It's not really something that's describable, I think. It's just who you become after visiting so many places adventuring so much it's like a more resilient version of yourself and i've struggled with the fact that i would be like i've struggled with the fact that am i anything besides this travel life like does my does my personality even like differentiate from the fact that i've traveled and i think recently i've come to terms with the fact that it is not simply 
like my personality is sort of like built off of the travel but it doesn't have to be a direct it does, it's not like intertwined with it if that makes sense so you're not it's, defined by the travel yeah i'm not defined by actually i am sort of defined by it okay i disagree i think i am defined by it. i think that it is what has set many of my values and many of my personality traits and that has simply made me a different person than um who i would have been beforehand and i really i really like that it's probably my favorite part so the best part of your travel life is us being with your parents all the time is what you're saying no, it's the way i've changed because of it oh damn well, I, God, mm -hmm. I just totally read that one <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have two observations. One, she's that going. was new. I just finished that. Avalon it's is not even glorious done. for leaving apple cores. I think we found this in here someplace. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap now. Number two, worst mm -hmm. part of this travel lifestyle. Worst part. Um, can I just say not getting showers every day again? You can no, say that no, again. No, I'm just kidding. Worst part. Worst part is um not being able to see family and friends regularly this is a funny um, angle because you look like you have a head the size of a peanut let's come <laughs> up like this go ahead no no no, okay, no and i think it works right now i'm excited to have some of the opposite of seeing people every day but i'll still have friends in other places and i'm still going to get to go see them and hang out with them for like a week or something so do you um, like the part that you have friends all over the world too? yeah that's so it's kind of a nice hybrid right yeah uh, honestly there isn't really a worse part there are little things that aren't so nice but i don't think there's a worse part Unless there is, and I just haven't thought of it. Dumping the poop in the RV. That sucked. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. You get it out. Mm -hmm. Ew, God, I can hear it going around. Oh, it's gonna fall. Grab onto the top. This? Yep. Watch why out, is watch it all out. wet? Dad, why is it all wet? What is this water? What do you think it is? Pee? Are you kidding me? Oh god, I'm done. I got it! I'm done, I'm done. I got it. <laughs> is that seriously pee? Is that seriously pee? Is it pee or not? Alright. I don't even want to know what's in here. This is where we don't want to look. This is where Alan hides all of her secret where stuff. Where I hide the dead bodies. The dead bodies. Oh my gosh, there's a lot in there. Okay. Uh, I don't want to bend down, so let's just do this. <laughs> We've got a bag that I actually really like. I don't know if I'm going to use it much in college. I'll probably have my backpack with me all the time. Well, what you can it's do is you can take mess. stuff, Alvis, and if you don't find you use it, then you can get rid of it. I like this a lot. All right, how about the hardest part of returning to land life? Hardest part of a train, just not being like on the water every day, I think is going to be the hardest part because I don't know, there's something about it just being near the ocean and like a, a feeling of calm that it gives you, and that is not going to be the case. So, well, you know what they say there are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready? What would your advice be to other traveling teens? Get some profound stuff or just do it up? Um, enjoy it, because it doesn't last forever, although sometimes it feels like it does. Um, and I'm definitely wishing I had like three extra months doing this right now. To just chill? Yeah, especially after school. So maybe don't do what I did and try to get into one of the best schools in the country. It's not a very good idea and it doesn't usually work out. Um, so just like chill, um, follow your passion. And if that is a very good school, then I guess go ahead. But um, I wouldn't recommend it. Alan, you ready to take your last exam for your junior year of 2021? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not ready. You, after this, I don't ever want to see you on a computer, except for, for maybe work and college transcripts and well okay fine you're gonna be on the computer but let's get this over with mm -hmm. it's summertime do you have plans to keep travel in your life yes yes i don't think it is possible for me to live in one place forever it's it's just not possible um don't tell anyone at the university that though because they think i'm gonna be there all four years i will not um i'm just gonna study abroad as much as possible and then after that, who knows? Maybe an RV in Norway or something. Do you have? Oh no! Can Dad and I come? We can. Oh, we can. No. We can buddy, no. buddy RV. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't want to take the no. old people with you? Uh, no. <laughs> what you got there? Oh no, not this. This, this is oh. a 
rock that I'm going to end up tossing into the ocean because it's covered in paint and then retrieving as practice for free diving. Oh. The interesting thing is this. More socks. Oh my gosh. Were you worried about your feet getting cold? I don't know. I've just slowly accumulated them because I don't get oh, rid of them. Oh, look at that so, though. Halloween. You every holiday. So those of you who don't know, Avalon is a magical designer, sewer, costume creator. She's a crafter in general. Crafter. And she's going to be taking all this with her to university. Makes me sound like so, a grandma, but hey. We've got a new setting here. Does it feel comfortable up here? Get out of that hot So room. much cooler, yeah. Um, maybe when you come back to the boat one day, we'll have air conditioning. Okay. Sure. If you get air conditioning after I leave, I think we might have an issue. <laughs> like you held out on me. How dare you? We held out on you. All right. Favorite travel memory. I'm sure there's so many. That's such an mm. awful question to ask you, but maybe something that happened yeah. in the last year. I'm sure I've got something more profound than this, but this is like one of my favorite memories. Um, it was last year in the Balearics when there were a bunch of kid boats um, and we hadn't had a ton of social since COVID had happened and we'd been on the boat in the middle of nowhere. And we just had a ton of kid boats there. All at once there were some teenagers and we all just hung out for the summer. And These gray ones right here can be any color, but they have to be the same colors. So you can put two blues, two reds, two oranges, and that counts for all the gray ones. Ooh. Are you the translator for all the different Yes. Videos? I'm not actually playing. I'm just here to explain their game. <laughs> what languages do we have here? French and English and a couple others. Me. Only spoken by me. Okay, um, and just had a ton of fun, and that is one of my favorite memories. I think I think that's a pretty profound memory. Mm -hmm. People need people. I thought you were gonna yeah. say getting century. Getting oh, that's that's probably your second favorite memory. That is. That's our second. That's our second. Don't hold back. I don't know one. if people know this, but I don't like cats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her little claws. Oh, oh she's my purring. Gosh. Oh my god, she's purring. She likes it here. <gasps> Look at her. She likes it rocking. Yes! She's totally going to Avalon. He's totally going to Avalon. Oh, oh, the pillow, the no. pillow, the pillow. Oh my god, Avalon, she totally is coming to woo you. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Can you at least pet her and make her feel a little mm -hmm. bit at home? Now, I bet a lot of people are wondering, would you do this again? Would you want to do this again? Would you, you know, change your mind about wanting to do it? Would you have said, I don't want to do this anymore at any point? How do you feel about that? Do what? Travel lifestyle. Oh, okay. Sewing. Um, <laughs> like there are many different things I can be doing. Um, no, of course I wouldn't want to change it. It's like who I. It's part of who I am now, um, and I like that part of me. So no, I would never change it. And Dad wanted me to ask this question. Uh oh. You can lie on this one if you want when he's editing it because I, I think he needs mm -hmm. to feel. Are you happy to leave us? You're gonna miss us terribly. Just lie, just lie. No, I'm not happy to leave you guys. I'm I'm excited to start a new adventure, but I'm not happy to leave. I wish I could have some extra time, like just maybe six months. So this is another one of Avalon's closets. It's her room. Another one? Like, I've got 15? Well, you have those two little cubbies in your room. Yeah. And her room is the only room that didn't have a closet, and this is one in the hallway on the port side. Um, that we gave to her mm -hmm. and I think what we're gonna do to be honest when you go since you won't be bringing back a ton of clothing is we're gonna yeah. put shelves in there and turn that into the gear closet uh -huh. and maybe put some special like moisture wicking stuff or whatever in there for mm -hmm. our gear so being the overachiever Avalon is we did the, she did not we she did the sewing kit and now she wants to do this yeah she but get it all done I'm not gonna film all of this so Avalon thank you for being so wonderful about answering these mm -hmm. questions so honestly you're welcome is there anything that you would like to add I mean do, do you think parents should do this with their kids of do course you think they should I think it's it's great it makes you see the world in a completely different way not everyone can do it um but I think everyone should mm -hmm. all right thank you we love you love you too mom we're gonna miss you <laughs> oh my god no way we're gonna go to dinner with this one. You're supposed to have it on one. No, I'm not. Yes. You start on one side, and then when you graduate, you flip it to the other Which side. Which side is this? Is Thank you again to my friends. You guys are the best. Um, I have enjoyed all of our late night weird conversations about chickens. We talk about chickens a lot. It's weird. So I'm gonna have to either join the like the scuba team and um, be in that swimming pool a ton, or thank you, Largo. <laughs> Lar okay. That's Largo burping in the background, by the oh my way. God. Oh my God. Um, and goats. 
Mm -hmm. Just a lot of farm animals, so thank you for that. Open the wild. And hold Did up. Did you hear Sentry? She just meowed because you didn't thank her. Thank you, Sentry, for walking over my computer and messing things up. I'm happy to hear there. there's no worse part. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? Just wait, you'll be getting my therapy bills. I, I know, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. October, yeah. we'll be having the therapy bills. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else do you have in there, Avalon? Is that it? Just some old keepsakes and oh, stuff. Oh, look at that, following after the bottle of gin. <laughs> Very pure and oh, I have a lot Girl of those true. <gasps> and yes, thank you for to the boat for not sinking. That's helpful. That's always a good one. Woo! <laughs>